Okay, how it works is really simple. You have the mission specialist and you'll see he has a block note on top of his head. That means he has a quest. Now, if I were to take the quest, I would simply right click and I could choose in chat yes or no. Now, I want, don't want to do it now because I kind of want to do something else. To make a quest like that, you simply go to quests and that's the plural, editor. And you'll see you can create a new quest, edit a quest or delete a quest. We'll choose two, edit a quest. And you'll see I have fire one and two. I made those. So if I go to fire one, that is the quest I was, uh, the mission specialist has. You see, you can set the name if you choose one and it is already fire one, talk to the operation manager. You can set an ask message, which you saw earlier when we tried to attack the, of, uh, take the quest. Welcome, please hurry and talk to the operation manager. And you can set a finish message. Then if you have citizen two, or citizen one you can also set npc start which is really easy and it's already set i can simply choose this one and what i need to do is type in their id i can get their id by simply right clicking each the id is six so if i type six then i set it to mission specialist and whenever somebody right clicks on this npc it will actually be set to that quest you can also set a block start a region start and initial action i haven't figured out yet i'll check that out later now, then nine is requirement, and we actually have that on fire two, which I will show you later. But what you need to do, and that is mandatory, is actually edit stages. So you choose 11. And you see there is already one stage, edit stage one I can do. So let's see what is in the stage. What I can do there is I have one, two, three, uh, one, two, 17, and three is actually NPC. So what you can do, you could do, for example, the two, and then you see, you see several things, craft items, smelt item, enchant items. These are all actions. And if you were to specifically want to bring something to someone, something you gain on any other means, for example, finding a chest or from a mob, you simply choose the NPC and there you'll see deliver items and or talk to NPCs or kill NPCs. Of course, I now took the talk to NPCs, which is two, and that is the other NPC in the building. So that is the simple, that is quest one. And we'll simply go out by done, done, 15, exit, are you sure? Yes. And we'll exit it. Now I'm actually going to take the quest, accept the quest, yes please. Okay, now we have the quest. What you can do, if you want to see it, and if you reset your own quests, you can reset your quest if you are admin, of course. If you have resetted them, you must make sure you pick up a new journal and throw the old journal away. Other than that, you can always use the same journal. If I would now take the quest journal, I get the journal and you see the quest is in here. Talk to your operations manager. You can't interact with anything in there. Okay, it's really simple. You walk to the operation manager. You see she now has a block on top of red. Let's talk. And she will actually give me hardened fire buckets. And if we go back to the quest editor, and we'll see, this, we check editor quest and we check the fire one. I actually set these as rewards, which you do on the 12, edit rewards. And you'll see set item rewards is hard at fire buckets. Now, of course, there are several ways to do that. You can simply press, um, let's add an item first. You can simply load the items in the hands by using zero, which I have right now. So then you would automatically take the ID of the hardened fire bu buckets. But you can also just set a name, which I did, which was is actually the Minecraft name. So you would take the name bucket. I will just recreate it right there first. Let's let's do that first. Let's just recreate this reward I just got. That's really simple. Let's go back. Nine done. Oh, eight cents. Actually, cancel actually. Um, if we clear it now and we do add items, I could simply load the item in hand like that, and you will see uh, create item hard and fire bucket bucket times three. And there's also a lore which is the enchant and the name you choose if i choose set amount i can actually give here 15 instead of three now you see hardened fire bucket times 15 but we don't want to do that we want to just have three because that's more than enough um you can also do a display name and that is actually the one i took and that's the five that's actually the one i chose was was hardened fire bucket if i choose five i can just call this hardened frost bucket if i want and then you see it becomes a hardened frost bucket. But we don't want to call it like that. And also eventually can set the lore and even set enchants, which I actually did. I gave it protection. So if I give it an enchant, I can just do protection fire. You see in the list, 
they're all there and I would could just give it four and now it would have an enchant protection for fire four okay so that is really simple how you make the buckets and what I'm actually gonna do is um, I'm gonna edit the ones I have because it's not really smart if I change it now to because it's the requested of the quest that comes after so I might as well make sure it's just exactly the same three done and now you see there's actually two of them that's just not what I wanted this <laughs> boat okay done one item load from the hand that's it and done now it's the same again three done and that is actually the reward you can, and you can also do the money, you can do the quest points, and you can do any other item rewards. So let's always forget to not forget to save. There's also options which I haven't used yet, which is for multiplayer or general, single player. So that doesn't really matter. So the quest is saved now, and you need to do quest admin reload to actually make the changes stick. But because I didn't really change anything, I just showed it again. I'll do it anyway. So we have no accepted quest we do have however the operation manager and she asks me please use the buckets to get some lava if you lost the buckets i'm sure you can get some in the store out from the storehouse manager and i'll make that a daily quest later which you can repeat um so you can quickly kill something to get the meat or something and, or get a block or whatsoever just in order to get the buckets if you lost it and you see if you wait too long you actually have a cancelled quest right there now I'm going to throw these buckets on the floor and if I try to do it now it says no requirements are three hardened fire buckets so you can see I can't even take the quest if I don't have the fire buckets and now I can actually do it if I have the fire buckets in hand and the way I did that is really simple that's of, of course the requirements I actually have to do an S here and as there edit the quest fire 2 and we'll simply see we have an uh, ask message, the finish message, the MPC start, which is the operations manager. And we also have nine, the requirements, which I simply used. I said the item requirements is three hardened fire buckets. And I simply loaded them in by using zero like we did before. And of course, also here we have reward stages. And let's go to the stages. Let's see stage one. What I did there is actually I see the MPC has something set. So I check the NPCs and I see I have to deliver just plain lava buckets times three to the operation manager. Now, of course, I had a small problem with this. When I made it, let's quickly get out of the quest. It's, it's a bit of a typing, but it's fine. Is there any form of lava nearby? No, of course not. Luckily, I'm in creative. Let's cheat the living daylight out of it the problem with this quest right away is that the lava is actually finite so eventually i will be out of lava now the, the main problem is that i'm actually not in survival and the other problem is it just becomes plain lava buckets if i use them on the lava which is in in a way a problem because then you will not um if the player decides to throw it he will just have an empty bucket which is Something I might work on later. Well, that's one of the problems you actually... So I have to actually make a custom action that if you take lava, then your bucket will still be a specific type. But that is not for this episode. Okay, let's just go to creative. This is just ridiculous to walk back all the way. We have four lava buckets now. Now, you can probably easily murder yourself in this way. But that's not the whole idea. As you can see in your quest journal, we need to bring three to the operations manager. If I give it, she is actually asked, do you have some more buckets? And you see, I just gave her one. And this is one of the problems that might happen. Well, the quest is complete. Okay, we really have to fix this quest right away. <laughs> uh, this is not the best quest to make, actually. It's a bit bugged whatever anyway we done the quests we got some fire tokens which was actually the reward and there's no quest left for me to take now if you want to reset your own quests just simply do reset and then your name and you see instantly the block notes start playing again now this one is not going to work anymore that's the only difference so if i'm going to take this quest 
you see the journal doesn't work anymore because it's a fake journal because you reset your quests <coughs> and i'll notice that was a problem but if i take a new journal it'll be in there As you can see, that's how the quests basically work. Of course, this is a very bad example. Uh, getting lava is maybe not the best choice. So I probably will change that in a way, actually just to fill it somewhere in some kind of deposit or something. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so that was a quick explanation on how to make quests in this game. <laughs>